We are here at our beautiful Porch of Struem campus and we're here to talk to some of our staff members to find out more about their perspective on hashtag Discover NWU. Today we'll be speaking to Dr. Ilza Dupria and she's the Head of Research and Development at the Centre for Human Metabolomics. I'm Angeline Marukwane, Communications Specialist and this is hashtag Discover NWU. Let's go! Hi, Dr. Hello. Dupree, nice meeting you. Nice to meet you. Join me. Thank you. Dr. Dupree, how would you describe your job title in three sentences? Well, I am currently appointed as a senior lecturer uh -huh. at the Center for Human Metabolomics. So in short, that's the CHM. Uh -huh. um, but my responsibility is mainly to oversee all the, the research and development uh -huh. um, activities in the CHM. So that includes our internal research projects, setup and development of new diagnostic methods, uh -huh. and then also contract research. So we, we are basically a a commercial entity where we okay. do contract research. Interesting. What would you say is most exciting about your job? Well, the most exciting part, I think, is that we literally diagnose a child with a rare disease almost every week, sometimes every wow. day. And you can change the course of that child's life forever. Um, so there's no cure for these things, but you can start your uh, treatment and interventions then uh, sometimes from birth. Sounds very interesting. What would you say is one misconception about your job or something that people perhaps don't really understand about your department? Um, our department, as I said, is mostly commercial. Mm -hmm. um, so there might be a confusion because we are not the typical academic university yes. department, although we are, are lecturers. Um, so we provide the diagnostic services we diagnose rare diseases mm -hmm. or inborn metabolic disorders and, and we are also the, the, the only lab in South Africa who does the newborn screening uh, for more than 20 uh, different diseases wow. so we screen these newborn babies yeah I think so the biggest misconception is that we are a typical academic department which we are yes. not <laughs> I think that's the misconception I had earlier on as well <laughs> Dr. Dupria, what is one thing about your job that makes you that makes it instantaneously just better? Well, as I said, the diagnostics of, of uh, a child, if you, if you work hard mm -hmm. every single day, long hours, mm -hmm. um, you get tired. But then if the diagnosis comes through and you, you get the response from a doctor or from parents, yes. that's an instantaneous, uh, you know, you forget about all the negative things yes. in that point. In that part. Yeah. What is your favorite thing about, or what's your favorite place at the NWU? <laughs> well, that's an interesting question because I was a student here as well. Uh -huh. So I think it's now different to what it was then. Yes. But um, at this point, I think that CHM's tea room, uh -huh. that's that's <laughs> my, my safe place. Uh, yes. Because I work with a lot of colleagues and we, we are not just colleagues, we are really friends. Mm -hmm. um, and in the tea room we discuss difficult things, yeah. but also uh, the triumphs that we make. Mm -hmm. um, but then also we discuss the children, yes. you know, issues with uh, everyday life. So mm -hmm. I think the CHM tea room is where I feel safe and at happy home. <laughs> and at home. <laughs> what career advice would you give to your younger self? Uh, to my younger self, I would say that things do not just come instantaneously. Mm. Um, you know, there's no end to it. Mm -hmm. It's not if, if you're done with your degree, your yes. master's, PhD, there's no, that's just the beginning of a longer uh, mm -hmm. journey that you have. So I would say be patient, uh -huh. wait for it, mm -hmm. you know, uh, keep on working hard mm -hmm. constantly day in and day out and things will come to you. Yeah. Th good things come to those who wait. <laughs> awesome. Um, how long have you worked for the NWU? Uh, I've officially worked for the NWU for 11 years now, mm -hmm. so since 2013, but I had a long journey mm -hmm. since 2012 actually. Yes. So I started as a postdoc um, at the Muffy King campus, okay. actually, not, not in the Poch campus. Mm -hmm. I was a postdoc at the biology department. Mm -hmm. 
And then in that time, the biochemistry department was established uh, on the Mafeking campus, and I was one of the first lecturers there. Mm -hmm. And then I worked there for a while, then I came back to the Poch campus again, to the biochemistry department here. Mm -hmm. And I started my current position in 2019, so oh. it's been four years in the, in the current position. Fantastic. What would you say is the one thing that you've discovered about yourself since working at the NWU? Um, I think you, you can achieve more than you think you can. Oh, interesting. So if you're challenged, yes. so here we are, we are challenged. Um, mm -hmm. It's not a big university, there's not thousands of staff members. Yes. So you have to, to be a sort of master of a lot of things. Yeah. And you can achieve that, so I think that's mm -hmm. what I've learned. You can, you can master a lot of different things yes. to get to one goal. To get to one goal. Yes. Fantastic. Dr. Dupriya, who or what motivates you at work? Well, it's going to be difficult to mention just one person mm -hmm. at work. I think another thing that's a bit different to us because we're not a traditional university department is that there's no yes. sense of competition mm. between staff members. Mm -hmm. We are a family and we are one group working together, together. towards one goal. Mm -hmm. We're in a traditional space you would always want to know who published the most, mm. who had the most students, who had the best yeah. uh, marks. But for us, we are a, a group and a family, so yes. I cannot unfortunately mention just to one person. <laughs> who or what inspires you when it comes to your career? Um, I think someone, again, not someone specifically, but mm -hmm. I'm inspired by those people who tend to be learners their whole life. Yes. Um, so they never think that they know everything. Mm -hmm. Those type of people who can learn something from people who are more senior than them, mm -hmm. but also those who are in a way junior in age or with number of degrees or years of work. Uh -huh. So those people inspire me to those who are uh, continuous learners. Yes. Dr. Dupriya, what has the NWU done recently that has made you just feel proud? We won the Varsity Cup, yes. so that's a good thing. Mm -hmm. But I think more than that, it's, it's more than just a sporting event. It was a way to unite the university again after the COVID pandemic, where yes. sort of the family feeling got lost a bit because mm -hmm. everybody was working from home. Mm -hmm. So for me, it's like a, a miniature version of the 95 World Cup yes. that united South Africa and this just united us as a mm -hmm. university. Mm -hmm. What is one thing you've learned at the NWU that makes you think different about the future? Well, I think that what I've learned is that even if a decision can be difficult at that specific time when it happens, mm -hmm. uh, it doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be a bad thing at the end. Mm -hmm. So take, for example, the three campuses that came together, the color that changed to purple. Yes. When that happened, people were sort of upset about it, but mm. now it's it's us and we are proud of it. Yeah. So it was this, the best decision that could have been made then, even yeah. if it was uncomfortable. Yes, because change is always daunting. Yes, very daunting. <laughs> so Dr. Dupriya, what quality or skill would you like to improve on? Well, currently I have a history or a history of being an academic, mm -hmm. full on academic, and that's how I was taught. But in the field that we're in now, where we diagnose patients with rare diseases, mm -hmm. I would love to get a HPCSA registration so that I can be a legal medical uh, practitioner and legally sign out and diagnose patients. So becoming a doctor, but not necessarily a medical doctor. Yes, so it's not really a doctor. It's more like mm -hmm. a medical geneticist or a medical scientist. Interesting. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what new or exciting opportunity uh, project are you looking forward to in your professional capacity or in your department? Uh, well, we are currently working with different stakeholders, so it's rare disease uh, advocacy groups and also um, different national and international companies mm -hmm. to try to get a diagnosis for undiagnosed uh, patients. So these are patients who have significant symptoms and effects, but they have never had a diagnosis in their lives. So they went through diff to different doctors, different mm -hmm. blood tests and everything they could do. So this project involves uh, gene sequencing and a lot of metabolic testing so that we can try for the parents' sake and for the children to get a diagnosis. I'm very excited about that, not just scientific-wise, but also from a humanity perspective and from a mother's perspective. I think that excites me. Awesome. What career goals are you working towards and how is the NWU 
supporting you with these? Well, as I said previously, we are in this diagnostic environment. We still have to learn a lot. You get, have to get registered. Yes. And I think the university's performance agreement and the fact that there's a personal development plan in there, so that they make teaching and learning part of your daily job. Mm -hmm. And I think that helps a lot so that we can stay informed and stay uh, qualified as we should. What would you like the NWU to do more of? Well, I think if support staff can get a little bit more recognition mm -hmm. and a little more support, yeah. and also not, not just support staff, but support yes. departments like we are, mm -hmm. um, I think that the academics is on the front uh, forefront, which, yes. is, which is good because we're mm -hmm. an academic institution, but just mm -hmm. a little bit more recognition and assistance towards uh, support staff, that would be great. I'd say yay to that. <laughs> <laughs> what work-related thing would you still like to achieve within this year? Well, I think we do great things at the CHM and we see it and we know it and, and we are so focused on the patients that we tend to forget to, to write this in publications yes. or to expose what we do. Mm -hmm. So the one thing I would like to do is to showcase what the CHM does mm -hmm. and what we do and who we are. Mm -hmm. and so that's my main goal this year, is more of a public relations initiative. Yes. Well, Dr. Dupri, I must say you certainly do the most amazing work ever. This is the first time I've heard of the work that you guys do and your colleagues. I take my hat off to you and thank you so much for spending time with us. It's been so mind-blowing to hear of the work that you and your colleagues do and the difference that you're trying to make in the lives of people with undiagnosed diseases, more especially kids because kids are close to our heart. And thank you so much for sharing your perspective about hashtag discover NWU experience. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. I appreciate it. Thank you.